wolf huffed and he puffed and he flew the house in. Well, one of the things that's been exciting to see in the second year is that parents are more aware of the program. Um, we've spent a lot of time educating them on what a 529 is and how to save for college. Um, and so it felt a lot more comfortable in our conversations with parents this year and getting them signed up yeah. for college savings accounts because they were more aware of it. So a lot of the communications that we did over last year really paid off. Last year, that's one of the things, the program being new, we were back to school nights talking to kids about their future and the potential of saving in a college savings account. And it just didn't really connect for them until they came to this event. And then it's like everything kind of came together. And so that's really one of the changes we made this year too, is we talked to kids about registration and about saving in their college saving account. And that community match piece of it all ended hoping that this was a culminating event. And we realized that didn't really work. We know that this can be the kind of the kickoff for kids. So as they leave today is when we're gonna be cha doing the champion process, where we ask kids to go out, talk to people who are supportive of their life and wanna see them do well, and ask them for $5.29. Um, and then if they raise $25, the community has come together to match $75. So what we know is when they have a college savings account, they identify themselves differently. They identify themselves as a college saver, someone who has a plan for what to do after college. And we know the amount of money we're putting in there isn't going to fund their college. Um, but it changes their identity. They're now a college saver rather than someone who has this dream out there with no plan to be able to achieve it.